people are arguing over who should pay on the first date because of a guy on TikTok. And it's amusing. I went out for dinner with my heartthrob dance partner who I hadn't seen in years. I said I'd pay for our meal because he traveled an hour to my city to meet me. When the waitress came, he grabbed the bill and gave his credit card to her. She looked at us, smiled, and left. It was not even a date, but he was a gentleman. After that, I bought some sweets for him and his siblings. Some of you will say, it's 2022, whoever asks for the date should pay the bill. I also agree, but listen to this. A few years ago, I invited a guy for dinner. This guy is different from the first one. I wanted to treat him because he did something nice for me. But he didn't let me treat him or even allow me to split the bill. He also said that he made me order first because if I knew he would pay for both of us, I would order the cheapest on the menu. Ladies, this is what they say, if he wanted to, he would. Some of you might say, I'm a strong, independent woman. But it doesn't matter how much you make. When a guy asks you to split the bill, especially on the first date, or lets you pay the whole bill on the first date, it only means he doesn't like you that much. Men try to impress women they like. If he really likes you, he won't let you pay even if you insist. I met men like these. And if you're a guy and the woman doesn't spend money on you, it's most likely she doesn't like you that much too. Women also spend money on the guys they really like. Women who end up with the split the bill guys usually don't end up in a healthy and happy relationship with them. Many of these guys are the type of guys who also like and comment on posts of half-naked women online or constantly DM other women despite having a partner, and some of them even cheat on their partners. Not all 50-50 guys are like this. It's possible but it's very unusual to be in a healthy and happy relationship with the split the bill type of guy. Whether you're a man or a woman, if money is a big issue for you when going on dates, it would be better to go to a job interview instead. You can tell a lot about a person on the first date. Just ask the right questions and be observant. Again, if you don't want to spend money on the person on the first date, it means you don't like the person that much. Be honest with yourself. Also. This is a reminder that the first date is only a quick look. If you want to avoid getting your heart broken, follow me or subscribe to my channel.